Aang actually demonstrates earthbending ability before meeting Toph. In this scene, you could see him digging a hole at superhuman speed. I'm saying I'd rather kiss you than die. That's a compliment. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. What's going on? David here with some new stuff today. I have been really kind of happy with how the last airbender avatar the last airbender has kind of gotten a resurgence recently because it got released on netflix and now a ton of younger people are watching it it's one of the few shows out there that i think actually makes you a better person but today i'm gonna react to some avatar memes and post cuz you love them <laughs> all right so this is gonna be a fun little thing i was thinking about doing a reaction to the show itself, like actually rewatching it because I haven't seen it in ages, but I don't want to deal with copyright stuff on the YouTube channel. So let's just have some fun with this and, you know, just uh, comment down below if you want to see me do anything Avatar related. Shout outs to Haunted Breezy who posted this on Cheeseburger. I want to be a comedian, everyone in my family. <laughs> Your mother, grandfather, and great grandfather all tried and failed. That's, that's apropos, I suppose. Doesn't make me laugh very hard. This website is littered with ads you guys are gonna know so much about me because my computer spies on me and my hair's all fucked up my two girlfriends are dating each other that's rough <laughs> i honestly wasn't expecting that zuko i got you a video game what is it dishonored <laughs> that took a second that's really good <laughs> This <laughs> little fucking face, I love it. That's a good shot of Ozai, I don't... Is he laughing in that shot? Like, I've never seen him look that happy. That was a really good one. <laughs> Zuko, turtle duck. I must find the avatar to restore my honor. Zuko is a turtle duck. My first GF turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Why is he a turtle duck? The art's amazing, though. I'm sparing you, Sozin. Oh, hell no. Find that bitch, you... Oh, it's... Is that Roku? Oh, it's... It's Roku. I didn't catch that, because I'm so used to seeing... <laughs> Fucking Kyoshi. God. I, I want to see a, a, like a, like even a mini-series on Kyoshi, just like what she was like as a person. Because what we get from her is just so good. I mean, she has to be more three-dimensional than what we see, because we see her after she achieved enlightenment and figured out her own path. Azula always lies. Azula always lies. Azula lies. <laughs> it looks like a Pikachu that spilled marinara on his face. Old Zuko, Uncle Iroh. Notice you've copied my beard. Really? <laughs> he did! That's rad as heck. And knowing is half the battle. Roku. That's Roku. Kyoshi. The other half is extreme violent. Yep. It's so funny how Kyoshi became such a meme on her own based on like just a few throwaway lines and the flashback. So I'm hitting up his tea. We <laughs> were. <laughs> I love this one. I know this is gonna be a dead meme probably pretty soon, but. I really like this meme in general. It's just a fun format. Toph fucks around and makes Pangea a thing again. She's like, I can't see on boats. Solution makes sea travel obsolete. And no one stops her because they can't. Barlow and Zuko wakes up at sunrise, but the su sunlight is somehow coming in through the entirely wrong fucking window. There's like 50 messenger hawks. It's not a funny one, but it's clever. Zuko at Starbucks, one week into being Fire Lord. Can I get a venti vanilla latte with a seven espresso shots? Sokka, Jesus Christ, just do cocaine. <laughs> Can I just say that I know this post is supposed to say Christ, but saying Chris just makes it... Oh yeah, I didn't even catch that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like, when you're used to seeing a phrase the whole time, you don't even, like, realize, like, oh, it says Jesus Chris. Jesus Chris, just do cocaine. <laughs> when there's not enough Lin Bei Fung <laughs> <laughs> Apropos, I kind of like that. Kyoshi, if she were alive to face Ozai instead of Aang. Yeah, I got your Earthbender right. Yeah. yeah! Obviously, like, we wouldn't have a series if it was Kyoshi. She would have just done her thing. That, that's, that's probably why we don't have a series from her, huh? It's probably just boring. <laughs> it's probably boring, and it's probably not a message they want to spread to children. Easter egg. Aang actually demonstrates earthbending ability before meeting Toph. In this scene, you could see him digging a hole at superhuman speed. I'm saying I'd rather kiss you than die. That's a compliment. <laughs> I remember that. 
I hated that episode so much. I really hated that episode. Oh god. I already know where this is going. <laughs> There's no pol- Oh. Is this a go- <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I mean, now it is. <laughs> Wasn't when you met her. Kyoshi in the show, I offer you this wisdom I Only justice will bring peace. Peace was never an option. <laughs> Kyoshi in the fandom. That's true! Dude, this, these memes are reading my mind. Just shower thoughts. If they made a spin-off of Avatar Last Airbender called Dragon of the West and featured Iroh's backstory, I'd watch the shit out of it. It would be him murdering everyone. Let's be real. If they made an Atlas spin-off called My Cabbages featuring the backstory of Cabbage Guy, we'd all be watching every week. Yes. Abso-frickin-lutely. It would have to say My Cabbages in, like, really fancy, like, script, like it's a soap opera or something. I would totally watch The Dragon of the West, but it would paint a different picture. Like, Iroh is smarter and wiser even when he's doing bad things. So I think it would still be like there would be redeeming aspects to his character, but he would just do a lot of dark stuff. People would see a different side of him, and I don't know if they're prepared to do it. Then again, Hannibal has a fandom, so go figure. And then they would justify it too, because they'd be like, it's okay, because he turns good in another series way f in the future. I remember when I came out to Dad, I was like, Dad, I like girls. And he was like, no way, me too. That's exactly what I would say if my daughter came at me <laughs> saying that. Do you ever just look at the moon and can't believe how pretty it is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. This could have been the meme right there, but it says, why do we always end up here? <laughs> it's a scientifically proven fact that once a group of people become friends, the tendency to make really foolish decisions skyrockets, and from this chaos, the mom friend arises, ready to keep everyone aligned, armed with exasperation and common sense in spades. <laughs> there always is a mom friend. And it always stems from pathology, I've noticed. It's not- it doesn't mean, like, the person is pathological to be a mom friend. But, it's interesting how the f their adoption of the role as a mom friend actually is a coping mechanism for stuff that they've been through. Like, it it's really cool how people- I love people. Sokka! Ta! I haven't seen you in years. I've never seen- <laughs> White Lotus in Atla Book 3. <laughs> we shall liberate Ba Sing Se with five members. White Lotus in... L.O.K.? Oh, Legend of Korra. <laughs> That's how you know I'm not a super fan. In uh, Korra, book three. We can't five be one a one-week-old airbed. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Well, that's what happens, because... It makes sense, actually, because the White Lotus in book three is literally... A bunch of old, very powerful, very experienced... Benders, several of which are military professionals. And then White Lotus in Book 3 is probably after it's propagated and thrived, and so more people have joined it that probably aren't... Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. They're just guards. I don't think just because you're in the White Lotus means you're like spec, spec ops, you know? Fire Lord Ozai, it's been a whole year since my first son died. Damn. Don't be telling people I'm dead. Sometimes it still feels like he'd be commenting... <sighs> I thought this was- oh, and I love that Alu Azula <laughs> laugh reacted. So, this is funny, but how more interesting would it be if the response was, don't be telling people I'm dead, Look, and then what if he just said, I wasn't talking about you? <laughs> that would have been really cool. <laughs> that would have been horrible. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. I mean... Yeah. Yep. She remembers him. Why is this fun? Oh, it's because- Oh, is it- It's referencing something that I don't know. Probably Avengers. Looks like Avengers. Yeah. Aang enters into the Avatar state. Avatar Kyoshi. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> it's true! I 100% believe that of all the past lives, at least it seems like she would be the most- Dominant in combat. All right, uh, no one tough when someone's lying. I can sense your bullshit. Yeah, I mean That's her power Sometimes these memes like just don't make sense. I'm like, yeah, that's 
that, yeah, that that's the shtick. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting too old for memes. The sweetest part about Katara telling Toph is she's pretty is that Toph believes her because she can tell when people lie. So Toph could tell that Katara is telling the truth. My heart. How's it been 10 years and I didn't realize that? That is kind of sweet. Are we ignoring the fact that Sokka invented pyrotechnics, submarines, made air power relevant, and found a way to escape an inescapable Fire Nation prison in half a day? He's a genius! Isn't that what he's like, lauded for? Like, late in the series? Obviously late in the series, but after he's accomplished all these things, don't, aren't people like, yeah, he's an amazing strategist. Did he really invent this stuff? He might have. He didn't invent pyrotechnics. Did he? Because the balloon already existed. They've used it before. I don't know. I, I'm overthinking a lot of these. But I'm nothing without my bending. If you're nothing without your bending, then you don't deserve to have it. Truth! In fact, Amon, that's... I think Korra is so good because... And they actually address this in the later books. And I think it would have been perfectly fine if they didn't address it, because it's something that people could talk about when they analyze it. But all of her villains teach her something. I do like how they re reference that in the later books, but she learns a very valuable lesson from each of her villains. Aang, it feels more like Journey of to the West, like it's like, you almost get like a Monster of the Week kind of situation. Like, he never learns anything from June and the Sheer Shoe when they're tracking them. They don't, they never learn anything from the frickin' Boulder, you know, they never learn. Like, um, he like, I don't know if he learns anything from Ozai even, because he learns more from the Lion Turtle. He learns more from his past lives than his conflicts, I'm noticing. Again, I'm just like off the cuff right now. If, if I could think about this more in depth and find I'm totally wrong, but who knows. It's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Like how did the Fire Nation prevent waterbending prisoners from piss bending their way out? <laughs> I don't think anyone was that creative enough. Like, it took a lot of torture for Hama to figure out bloodbending. I know what you're going to say. She's my sister and I should be trying to get along with her. Oh no, she's crazy and needs to go down. It's one of my favorite lines in the show, actually. Because it just shows that even someone as wise and patient and understanding and compassionate as Iroh can see that Alu Azula is, like, a psychopath. Like, she's a sociopath. I, I, like, I know a lot of people are like, Azula's misunderstood. She's not misunderstood. She's damaged and broken and it's tragic what happened to her. But she is who she is, and she's not changing. Wanna freak yourself out? I'm gonna sh- Oh, this is a fucking ad. God damn it. So many ads. Oh, it's done. We're done. Well, thanks guys for watching that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about something like this. If you, you want to see me react to any other types of memes, jump on any subreddits, take any BuzzFeed quizzes. Uh, if you want me to do more Avatar stuff, let me know. Give me suggestions, because there's like so much stuff I could do. I was also thinking of doing maybe some My Hero Academia stuff, because that's like, I've never been into anime until like, ever. Like, you know, I mean, I watched it like way back, but then like I got back into it a little bit when Dragon Ball, well, well with Death Note, and then I watched a little bit of Attack on Titan, wasn't, wasn't really into it, but then uh, Dragon Ball Super came back, or came about in the dub, and I was like, kind of into that. And then I was like, okay, no more anime. And then my hero came out and I was like, okay, I can fuck with this show. So I'm usually not like that big on anime, but sometimes if the right show speaks to me, it does. And I really like my hero. So let me know if you want to see stuff with that. Cause I know it's kind of popular right now. Anywho, for now, I'm going to end this off. Do like this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you haven't and smack the bell. So you never miss a thing. As always, this is Dave out. Peace out. Have a great one.